I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Moonpie Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily, Monday through Friday, to do these love readings for you. Any and all signs, all of you are welcome. Please do smash the uh, like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. And yeah, I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Central Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, let's get into your messages for October for the Collective 2023. What messages does the Collective need to know? I wonder who is pleasing you. So you definitely have somebody here who thinks that there is someone else who is taking away or taking your attention away from them. They're thinking about you. Let's take a look here. They think someone else is distracting you from them or that you are interested in another person. They definitely want to kiss you every time they see you. Okay. See what else is going on this person misses their time with you they wish they could make love to you again hmm okay somebody here is definitely yearning for you hmm this is an ex okay this is someone that you're not with and this is an ex this person i feel like um they're really reminiscing, thinking about the past. They're wondering who you're talking to or who is kissing you or who is making love to you. This person thinks that there's somebody else. I definitely feel like they are really lost without you. Let's take a look and see what is going on here with this person. Like, what is the deal with this person? Who is this ex? What is this energy with this person? Okay, for some of you, this might be a Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. All right, there was definitely a cutoff. Uh, oh gosh. In regards to this relationship, there might have been some kind of an argument with an ex um, to try to, there was like a cutoff to try to bring things back into balance as far as like you go. You could be a Sagittarius as well, listening to this, but it feels like this relationship was supposed to end, I'm hearing, because it was getting a little bit too, there was too much fighting, um, too much conflict, mental conflict and stress connected to this connection. Now, why is this person still yearning? Why are they missing? The collect for the collective why is this person thinking about the collective thinking about you oh wow they're really up in their emotions for sure this is a uh, pisces energy because they're just like in the shadow this i feel like this person is left out in the cold in the dark they don't know what's going on it's because for some of you i'm just gonna have to say this person has lost all control for sure they might have been very controlling in a lot of ways some of you might have walked away from this relationship trying to find your peace or to get some balance back in your life and walked away from this person because there was some type of maybe some abuse of some sort the moon represents a lot of dis a, a lot of illusionment being disillusioned lies deceit things being in the dark a lot of shade and sketchy behavior i feel like this person is in the dark they don't know what's going on they're having dreams about you for sure they're being very suspicious at this time um but they're they're like having these like love dreams about you okay so you could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or this person is. Okay, look at that, the High Priestess. So yeah, I do feel like there is an energy of mystery about you. You might have disappeared on this person. They're wondering where you are. What's going on? 
at this time they don't know i mean i feel like this person looks at you i don't know if you're popular or you just have this energy of, of glowing like they, they like you're glowing in their dreams maybe you're haunting their dreams but i feel like you're kind of like in the like you're a mystery to them and and they're filling in all these gaps trying to figure out it's making them crazy i really feel like this person it's like it's driving them crazy that they're i feel like they want you back like they're all they're thinking about is you they're just reminiscing about the past they're missing the times that you guys were together they just want to kiss I and mean, they might even like i don't know if you see this person but they see you and every time they see you they want to plant one on you and 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 there if there's like a comp like competitiveness here and even if they're like competing with a ghost they think whether they know that you're with someone if you actually are or if even if you're not they don't know for sure i feel like they they're looking for hints there's some little clues to see if you have somebody else in your life or if there's another person that you're talking to they're being see I'm, I'm not like i'm not picking up a strong sense of jealousy but i, I do feel like a little bit of possessiveness uh, just a little bit okay some of you might work with this person as well um i do feel like this person is kind of acting though as if they're distracted or they're busy but they're really grieving like they're really <laughs> in a bad way about you and them not being together in October for sure. This five o'clock cups, is, there's just like a lot of remorse. I feel like in grief because I don't know, are they feeling sorry for themselves or sorry for if they were, didn't treat you well, they weren't treating you nice with that five of swords. Let me ask like, why, why is there this regret and remorse? Um, for some of you, there is a little bit of regret. They just said because they were too busy for you or they were just pushing you aside, not making your priority, putting their work always or always being busy or just always into, I kind of feel like they're always into doing their, their thing, distracted with their hobbies. I mean, anything that was taking away energy from the romantic aspect of the relationship which it, it, it just kind of feels like to me like when you're like if you have a plant if you if you're ignoring your plant the plant's gonna die right you have to nurture it so they weren't nurturing the relationship they were distracted with other things and now they're regretting that and but it still isn't answering my question. Are they feeling sorry for themselves or sorry for the way that they treated you? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say it a little bit about it's a. It, it looks more like leaning to themselves, so a little bit sorry to, for themselves. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right out there. Because they're not, they're not able to really to access you, it looks like, to get their needs met here. Now that four of wands, but some of it is, it's kind of 50-50 because some of it is also, I don't know if you wanted like a committed relationship with this person or you, or you had one or there was a marriage or there was some kind of a separation. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like a real strong kicking themselves a little bit and it mostly feels like because they feel like somebody else or at least they think i don't know if it's true or not but it looks like they feel like somebody else has swooped you up or somebody else has you and they don't and they can't have you and so now they're longing for you there's this yeah very strong energy of this person longing for you and they're going to be coming in with their cup of love, that Knight of Wands energy, and the star, this healing type of renewal, you know, please will you take me back, I've changed, you know, I want us to try to fix this, I really, really love you, I mean, let me take a look at your energy here to see what your message is as far as this person goes, 
what you should do, what your message is. We have Aquarius on the table here. Wow, you have the Seven of Cups. Well, this is a card of non-committal, of being non-committal. This is a card of like having a lot of options and not making a decision, okay? And not committing to anything. So I feel like in answer to the question, really the spirit is just saying, don't commit to something here. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, it just kind of says, it's like, maybe. It's kind of like, well, maybe, you know, it's not a yes or a no. They're just kind of saying like, I feel like looking at this card, I feel like it's like, you see how the wizard is just kind of like, hey, you, stop right there. And maybe, I don't know. I can't promise anything. It's a maybe. I don't know. I kind of feel like that's what the message is here for you. <laughs> and I'm not sure why. I, I just, I don't know if you've moved on. Let me see. Oh my gosh, yes, you got the death card. That's Scorpio energy. It looks like you've moved on. Like you've ended this. Like you've transformed. You've transitioned out of this, this relationship. And this person is just yearning. Like they're, they just want to be with you again. They're living in the past. Thinking about the past. And even so, the fact that you have moved on from this relationship, you, you're not going back to the past, you're looking at your other options, your, your, you know, whatever they might be, whether it's romance, whether it's career options, um, other life choices, it looks like you are just not turning back. You're not going back. Yeah, look at you. Future plans. You're looking forward. What else is out there? You know? making travel plans looking forward you're at a crossroads which way do i want to go you have choices now you know are you are you looking at the choices that are before you you're not really i i don't feel like you're shutting the door but i also don't feel like you're opening it fully to this person and maybe it's just because it's not you're i feel like you're leaving this person a little bit there now as an option um, maybe because they left you as an option. And I don't feel like it's like an eye for an eye kind of energy. It feels it's more like, well, okay, so it, it you know, I guess that's the way it's going to be. So, I mean, what is there left for you to do, right? If, if someone's going to leave you as just an option, like, like you can't force yourself to be number one in someone's life if they don't want to put you there. Um, you know, what are you left to do? So it looks to me like you're moving forward. Okay. So you have the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you may be moving forward as an energy. It could be an, an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But some of you are moving forward, especially when it comes to your stability, your finances, your career. You're very focused on that. Okay. And so I kind of feel like if the person that you are with, your ex, was very focused on their career and they weren't giving you the time of day, it looks like maybe the roles have reversed. You were more focused on the relationship, perhaps. That was a priority for you and it wasn't for them. Now you're a priority for them and you're not, uh, they're not for you. It looks like your priority is now your career, your finances, your work, that kind of thing may not be for all of you, but someone here definitely. And uh, you're keeping, so the, the roles have reversed. They've shifted a bit here. And it feels like it's more so just the way it's going. I don't feel like it's intentional. I don't. Maybe for someone it is, but I don't feel overall that it's an intentional thing. It feels like it's more like, well, this is just the way it's gone. This is just the way uh, things have happened here. Okay. So it, it looks like this person is going to try to, I guess I want to say re recuperate the relationship, try to come back into your life. Yeah, here you go. The past returns. So I do feel like this person is going to try to return and make things, try to get you back. Um, I feel like express their love, tell you how they feel. Um, what you decide to do with that is completely up to you, but it does look like you're and not going to say yes, so you're not going to say no. Um, I feel like your you're just default answer is going to be probably, I, I'll think about it, or just maybe, or I'm not sure, um, or I'll let you know. <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, it's completely up to you. 
So I'm going to leave that there. I will be back tomorrow with your weekend, uh, well, your Friday reading. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy my videos. And uh, yeah, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. The only one. No one likes being like too. You made this mess and left me with